Alright, now where are we, baby? We are at the Kelpies. We've been wanting to see this for a couple of years. Closer and closer you get, the cooler and cooler they get. Uh huh. I wanted to see these for so long. They're pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. They're huge. I know. It's amazing how big they are in person, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just for perspective, that's her. They're just getting cooler and cooler as the night gets darker. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Watching them change colors. And they're just huge. They're beautiful. That was amazing. Kelpies, eh? Kelpies! The Kelpies shrunk overnight. <laughs> Alright, so we're walking over to the what, Falk, Falkirk? Falkirk Field. And it basically transfers boats from one canal to the other. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a little. You can ride it just for fun if you want. Scotland seems to be like the Texas of the world. Everything's big. You walk up to it and you're like. <laughs> Looks like they got big castles, big ponies. <laughs> big ponies. <laughs> this big thing. Big Falker wheel. Yeah. Must be there, huh? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go check out Sterling Castle. What is it, the home of Mary at? Queen of Scots? Yeah. Seriously, Garmin, you suck. So hiking five miles in the rain. Ooh. You do have quite quite a good view up here. June 24, 13, 14. Jump off. <laughs> there he is. 
Who's this, Robert the Bruce? Robert the, the Bruce. in this lovely liquid sunshine in Scotland. Uh -huh. <laughs> there we go. I'll just get your map. Sandy, do you have a map, please? My colleague will just oh, thank you. Map. If you go through two archways and turn right, everyone will meet outside the palace gift shop. Be sure to go into the palace at the very top. It's beautiful and it'll get you out of the rain. Okay. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We all just arrived in the castle, and the tour will last, it's an introductory tour and it'll last probably the best part of an hour of it. I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago that the castle here at Stirling really did, um, really did play such an important part in Scotland's history. The main reason for that is the geographical location of the castle. We're right at the crossroads of Scotland here. Uh, it's quite a narrow part of the country. Uh, the castle itself are about 250 feet above sea level. It's built on a, an extinct volcanic rock, similar to the, the large tower that you see across in the distance. People ask what that is. That's the National Wallace Monument. Uh, that was opened in 1869, commemorating Sir William Wallace. Mel Gibson, you and better is Braveheart, of course, if you've seen the film Braveheart. Now, William Wallace was around at a period in Scotland's history 700 years ago, uh, the Scottish Wars of Independence. Uh, that's where the English king at the time, King Edward I of England, the Hammer of the Scots, he called himself, and after him his son Edward II, they were trying to overthrow Scotland. Guys like William Wallace, King Robert the Bruce, whose statue sits just outside the entrance, they were obviously trying to stop this happening. This area, I mentioned about this guy John Damien that tried to fly to France. This area out here is called the Ladies Lookout, so that's where the ladies of the day would have gone out to admire the, the views. So that's the Ladies Lookout, it's a bit, hopefully it'll brighten up a little bit here.
Allah, 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 Allah,